This is a toy. And what do you do with the toy? Yeah. So let's plug in a MIDI cable. That is connected to our audio card. Out. In. Alright, with a drum gizmo plug-in loaded in a MIDI track, let's load a drum kit. Now where is this drum kit? It's on the interflubes. It's two and a half gigs big, but it's worth the download. Those guys sampled a whole drum kit provided for the occasion by a Danish company called DRS Drums that makes beautiful and I figure quite expensive drums. Just setting up the drum kit and the mics and the audio connections is already a huge task, but they sampled hit after hit at a precise force. I mean, they're not even having fun. And this is all for us. Thank you very much, guys. Kudos to you. Those are the mic setup specification, couple of SM57s, Bayer Dynamics, the whole enchilada. Look at that, 13 channels of drums, goodness. Let's hit that. Make sure your MIDI keyboard is connected to Q Tractor. Right. And let's plug our sound card MIDI output to Q Tractor. Let's hit that. So each drum element is not just one element, in this case the snare. One snare sample played quiet and loud. No, no, no. It's 13 samples per element and mic bleed is taken into account. So the kit is mic'd with two overhead mics, two amb ambience mics, two kick mics, two snare mics, and one for the hi-hat, one for each thumb, there are three thumbs in, in total, and one for the cymbal, but there are a bunch of cymbal samples, such as a bell sample, a ring sample, and other things that I can't do because of my kit. Note also that I don't have a pedal to close my hi-hat. And that's a problem, but I will, once you support me on my Patreon page. And where did I find this rat-tastic piece of hardware? Well, it has been donated to me by one of my patrons. He has a Patreon page himself. Thank you very much, Sam. And it's a good thing because they don't come cheap. See? But why? Yeah, why?
All right, see you next episode. Bye-bye.